Hi, in this video I'll be showing you how you can try out Microsoft's new Copilot AI Assistant in Power Automate, helping you to automate repetitive tasks and processes within your school or business. To begin, you need to open up Power Automate. So we can do this um, by going to the app launcher and clicking Power Automate, or just simply going to make.powerautomate.com and you'll end up on here. Um, so I'm going to click this big create button here and then the new preview of what mode is describe it to design it so this is the co-pilot assistant and um, so we're going to click into that here we can tell it exactly what we want to achieve so it gives you a few different examples so every week copy data from an excel file to another file send automatic message to a teams channel once every week so whatever you think you need to do to um, improve your business flows or processes and um, you can just tell it and type it in here so in my example I want to create a simple Microsoft form and when the data is entered I want that to be created into a certificate file that we can print out easy without having to mail merge or manually do anything so I'm going to ask it to export the contents of a Microsoft form into a printable word document so now the copilot AI has suggested um, a flow for me so the trigger is when a new response is submitted so that's when the form has been submitted it's gonna get the response details populate a Microsoft Word template and then create a file in OneDrive for me which I can print so that sounds pretty good, it looks like it's hit the nail on the head there, so I'm going to click next. Now I need to um, review the connections, so it's going to use Word Online, it's going to use OneDrive and it's going to use Microsoft Forms, so they're all connected, I can click next. And then here is where I need to tell um, Power Automate what I'm going to use, so in this form, which form am I going to use? So I'm going to use my certificate creator form, which I've already populated. There's nothing special on that, it's just a generic form with a few fields on it for this demo. Then we need to get the response details. So again, we're going to choose that same form. So the response details from the certificate creator form. And then we want to create a Microsoft Word template. So I've already pre-populated a template. Um, it's just a simple... Um, certificate with some fields in. I'm not going to show you how to do that in here but if you've got a template file you can find it in your OneDrive I've just got it there so it's just called William's Certificate Template. It's just a standard Word document with some template fields added to it. So Once I click that it should read the document and find the fields. So these are fields that I've pre-populated in the Word document already so I need to go to date, so I click in date I can then add the date awarded from the form, so this is getting the details from the response so date awarded, last name get that, so wherever they put the last name is first name, wherever the first name is and the reason is the reason they get in the award so I'm going to put that in there the next step is going to actually take all this data and create a new file um, so we're going to choose where we want to save the file so I'm going to save it in my OneDrive root in the certificates folder and for the file name I can give it a static name or I can give it a dynamic name based on the content that's given it so I'm going to click in the file name I'm going to choose first name dash last name dot doc x and in the file content I'm going to add Microsoft Word document. Uh, I'm going to go click save. So that's my flow created now. So when I submit a new response, let's give that a save. When I submit a new response on this form, it should populate the document and put it into a file. So I'm going to go to my files, into certificates. I've got nothing there currently. I'm going to create this, fill it in. Joe Boggs, reason for award, winning the game, date awarded, I can choose whichever date I want, click submit, now the floor should start running, 
and in a second populate a certificate into my folder. There you go, so the certificate's already created. I'm going to open it up. And it's populated the fields that I've put in directly from the floor. So I can go back to my floor, have a look at the history. So it's finally come on now. Um, you can see that it's run two minutes ago. It's run successfully, it's created the file in the certificates folder with job logs which is here and I can print that as I like.